Welcome everyone to the uh, Jenkins Platform Special Interest Group meeting. You should see the agenda on screen. Gareth, could you give me an up and down nod of your head to confirm that? Great, thank you. All right, so welcome to the this Special Interest Group. It's for the platform. Reminder that we follow the Jenkins uh, Code of Conduct. Uh, proposed action, proposed items, action items, status of the master branch, uh, pending Docker changes, and contributor summit. Any other topics you'd like to add to the agenda? I actually have one that I have just thought of. Okay. Um, which kind of relates to our conversation earlier. Um, I, I suppose a proposal about adding the open container labels to all of our Docker images. Um, is that, is that, I think someone had a PR for some of that, if it's the same. It, um, it may, it may well be. Um, okay. okay. Know, we we know, can discuss during the, yeah. yeah. I know that we're not adding them to the, the Jenkins images, as far as I can tell, but there may well be other images or, yeah. I suppose it's just making sure they're consistent. Cool. Okay, good. Excellent. Any other topics to add to the agenda? All right, let's let's go forward then. So action item reports, Docker items, operating system, JEP draft is still there. Um, I would like to discuss the draft uh, during a track at the contributor summit. Um, so that'd be my proposal and, and that would be a, a place, a format where we do it try to invite people and encourage them to, to, to be there. So any objections to that as a, as a topic for a, the, one of the tracks there? Okay, plugin installation manager and update center blog. So we've got the shim replacement for install plugins.sh, which we thought might lobby that we don't need to even do this blog post. Alex, what's your sense based on install plugins.sh? I started my evaluation, found no issues with it, but feel like I need to do more. Yeah, I think it might be good to have um, a blog post just talking about our idea and and so forth. It just, you know, we don't want people to be super surprised. I don't know how many people actually read the blog post and still be surprised if they don't, right. but we can always, you know, be a little bit proactive about it. Okay. I can, I can take right. a, a jab at it. Great, thank you. Okay. And that's wonderful. So uh, when I see CDF Jenkins, I assume that's Kara. Kara, if I put the wrong person's name there or if it's someone else. <laughs> it, it is me. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Super. That's great. Thanks. All right. So so other changes we've successfully completed. Our CentOS image is now using Adoptium. It's using Adopt Open JDK, just like our Alpine image and our Debian image. So big win, thanks, Alex. We have replaced Debian 9 with Debian 10. We are no longer shipping an operating system that the vendor has shifted to only doing LTS security support for. So we are on a current operating system Bullseye, the Debian 11 release is expected sometime in 2021, but that still gives us a year at least of it being Debian 10 being actively supported and maintained by the Debian community. Uh, I don't have anything additional to report on Jim, Jim's refinements for parallelization. Do others have anything to, to comment on there? No, nothing here. Okay. All right. So we had set a goal to get the ci.jenkins.io master branch working and thanks to Alex, it is working and there is the proof. Excellent. Thank you, Alex. Glad to help. Gareth, you had raised the topic open container labeling. Could you give us some overview there? Help me understand what is open container spec and, and how does that help? Yeah, so um, it's just about adding a consistent set of labels to all of the images that we produce um, so that we can 
uh, provide hints at the origin of those images, really. Um, it's worth noting that you can obviously fake the labels and you don't have to add them. And there's no way of proving that um, the labels that you've added are in fact correct um, or validated, but it just, it helps um, trying to understand where something has come from. Um, I put a, a pull request that's open right now in the chat. Uh, and I was wondering if that's kind of what, what you're discussing in terms of yes so that is yeah so there's there seems to be two specs so there's the label schema is one of them and the open container um set of labels that are another and they're, they're pretty much the same thing um so we could add um one of those or both of those um that would be something like that yeah and i don't remember what was holding up this pr I think I think label checks. Yeah, I think it's an awkward one to add because um, there's probably a few other labels that you want to add, such as things like build date that we don't have there. Um, mm. And the, the the really useful one is the commit SHA that it comes from, mm. um, which you can't really add from inside the docket image unless you pass it in as either a build arc or you just pass on the command line. So. Um, I think we would need further changes to this, but I think I, I think just looking at that PR, I think that's one that it's quite difficult to merge because it's going to conflict with a lot of things every time. Um, so, yeah, I think the other problem we had was that for Windows, we we fully control the build process, and so we can add additional arguments and things like that to the build process. But for Linux, we're we're currently using Docker Hub builds. And I don't think you can inject any um, additional arguments on Docker Hub builds to do like build date and stuff like that. So that was, I think, one thing that was kind of holding this up as well is um, we, we uh, if we're still building on Docker Hub, then um, we, we can't inject some of the necessary arguments. Right, so we, there's certain, there's, there's sort of more of the static labels we can add because we can add them inside the Docker file, but yeah, anything dynamic. Okay. Right. So, were so we do, do you know which ones? On? Sorry, go, sorry, go, Mark. No, no. After you, Gary. Well, I think we're about to say the same thing. <laughs> uh, I was. Is there already a, a, a proposal to switch from Docker Hub builds? Or, um, I uh, believe I have a PR open for that. Let me look. Okay. Um, right. uh, maybe I don't. Yeah, okay, I don't. Yeah, I don't have one for the okay. controller. I'll have to, I did submit one. It must be for an agent, but um, I'll look. I, I, there is not a, a PR for the controller right now. Okay, so so that's a that's still a topic because I think there is interest in in having, um, and I thought that Jim Crowley had remind, noted to us that there were problems associated with choosing to use Docker Hub based build, where if we build on our own hardware, we can avoid those problems. So I think it's it, this sounds like a very reasonable one for us to be reminded of and continue working. It looks like I must have closed my PR on whatever it was because I can't find it on any of the. Docker images, so I'll okay. see if it's closed somewhere. And all right, anything else on open container labeling? Okay, next one: Docker upcoming Docker changes. So we know we've got the install plugins.sh change and Jim Crowley's multi arch builds proposal, and then Cara. Um, anything you want to share with regard to the agents and how, how that non-root user pull request is proceeding? Um, no, no major updates there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I haven't, haven't heard any blockers or any hard stops from people who said, hey, 
I, I, we don't want this. Have you, have you had barriers put up, Tara, that are getting in your way there that we need to be worried about? No, there may have been some work on the Windows images that needs to be done, possibly, but um, no, everything is fine there. I've just been pulled away from that in the last uh, week or so. Yeah, no problem. And that's, yeah, this, it'll proceed when it does. I just didn't want to have the worry that we someone was blocking it and we needed to resolve some conflict. So thanks for doing that very much. No problem. Thank you, Mark. Okay. And we, this one, I think um, the tagging, tagging and announcement, if we were to do open container and label and or label schema uh, and add more verbose tags, those all feel like a good fit for a, a blog post saying, hey, here's what we're doing and why we're doing it. Okay. Anything else on pending Docker image changes? Last topic on my list was the contributor summit. And I've got a note on the contributor summit here that what I've done is I've drafted up a section proposing a Jenkins on Docker track, or we could call it uh, just a, a Jenkins platform SIG track, Jenkins platforms track. Uh, the contributor summit will be February 23, 24, and 25. The first session will be inviting everyone to come together. 90 minutes of that session will be talking and presenting what we've done so far and what we're envisioning next from people who are leads of various special interest groups or officers in various roles. Then the last 30 minutes we'll use to coordinate how we're going to use the next 48 hours in that sequence to do these tracks and find times that work for people. Then after that 48 hour period, the, when these tracks have all met, uh, talked, then we'll do a concluding session and hear from the various track leaders to talk about, hey, we, we found this, we found this. The idea is we'll make things fit with our various time zones during that 48 hour period. Um, I'll send out registration information on the plat on the the Contributor Summit, it'll be a Google form based on conversations in Jenkins governance a, a day or two ago. Any questions or concerns on the concept of Contributor Summit or the Platform 6 involvement in it? Is it wider than just Jenkins on Docker? And it also includes Jenkins on Kubernetes, like Jenkins uh, on, conta on containers, really. Ah, good, good point. So maybe what we should call it is Jenkins on containers. Yeah, because, because my thought was this, I just wanted a platform track, but maybe Jenkins on containers is a much better choice for a name because Docker is not the only container spec in the world, is it? Although my assumption is we would not talk here about running Jenkins inside a FreeBSD jail, much as I love my jails and much as I think they're so cool. That's not the topic here. Oh, come okay. on, you might get uh, Tyler to come to, to that if it has FreeBSD involved. Exactly, and I might get Jim Klimov to come as well. But but that's, I have to admit, much as I love jails, it's not it's not a, a common thing. Okay. Anything else on on contributor summit? Okay, so let's do it. That covered all the topics that I'd seen for today's meeting. Any other topics we need to discuss? I guess one open question is, should we meet as a platform SIG the, the day after the Contributor Summit ends? And my preference is probably not. Let's cancel the next meeting in favor of, in favor of attending the Contributor Summit. Do you know what the time zone of the Contributor Summit is going to be? Yeah, so the opening session will be from, I think it's scheduled from 15 to 1700 hours UTC. So it'll be um, European, European time zone for those because 
those seem to work well for us for large group meetings. Then we'll do this, we'll find times that the, the other tracks work based on who's involved in the track. Here, Feb 23 through 25, uh, first session, uh, Feb 23 at, and I think it was, I think it's 1500 UTC. Alex, I apologize on that, it's a little early, but hopefully you'll be able to join us for at least one of those sessions. I, I have a work conflict. Oh, that's right. I so remember I, I'll, that I'll you told filled, me that's okay. you're not available at all that time. Yeah, right. that's. So, all right. Any objections to the proposal to cancel the next meeting in preference for the contributor summit? I think that makes sense to me. All right. So next meeting will be, next meeting is in four weeks then. Thanks everybody. Look for the, look for the invitation of the contributor summit coming to your email soon. Bye, thank you. Bye-bye. Yes, bye.